had been in the building for about a year already, and suddenly we noticed that people were starting to get a little sick and feeling just people who were working on our fulfillment team were feeling a little bit woozy at work. And it started, it was like over the course of a couple of weeks, we're like, hey, this is, a, no one actually is, has flu or cold, like what's, what's going on? We figured out that there was a carbon monoxide leak happening from a kiln that had gotten improperly installed by the engineers. So the kiln had only been around, we put it together pretty quickly because the kiln had just recently been installed about a week before people started getting sick. And you know, the first thing we did was try to figure out like who's responsible for this. Like we called the engineers and the kiln manufacturers and they were both trying to kind of shift blame on each other and say it was this person or you didn't do this inspection right or whatever. And then we're like, okay, that's not the most important thing right now. The most important thing is that people are, are getting sick and we need to make sure that people are safe. So John really took the lead in making those announcements, saying what was going on. And there was a lot of fear and a lot of anger and a lot of a few people in the company who were really angry at us because they thought that we were like putting them in danger intentionally that, you know, also like they didn't really know the whole backstory. And so a lot of, uh, a few folks were like accusing us of, a, of being negligent. For us immediately, we were like you know, just so hurt by that accusation because we'd always, we'd, we deeply considered ourselves people who would bent over backwards to make sure our, our employees were happy and healthy and safe. And so there was just, it was a lot of emotions at one time being like, who's responsible for this? What did we do that we could have done differently? How do we get everyone the information that they need to, to feel safe? Meanwhile, like we couldn't, you can't not fire, like if we stopped firing the kiln, then we would have no pots to sell and everyone would have to go home and lose their jobs. Th this one is when I think we really took our transparency to the next level. We've always been really clear, transparent with, with things like financials and different business decisions. We, we kind of share, overshare with our employees what, we're doing and how we're making decisions. But in this situation, we um, knew that people getting communicated to as clearly as possible was the most important thing so that people knew that, they, that we were doing everything within our power to make sure that the issue was being addressed. And so John, not only sat, he sat down with every single employee on the team to survey them about how everyone went to the, everyone who was feeling symptoms obviously got the medical support that they needed. Everyone sat down with John one on one and basically had a debrief of how they felt about the situation in general, what we could have done better. And he kind of answered any questions about what the, the processes that we were now doing to address the issue. Um, it involved having to call in like a whole team of environmental scientists to, you know, take samples of air in every single corner of the office and setting putting carbon monoxide readers and all these different stations that we didn't think that we needed them and shifting hours so that people weren't in the buildings at certain times. And it was a huge like waterfall effects of things that needed, needed to happen in order to keep running the business while also making sure that the safety issues being addressed. And it was at that time, it was the hardest thing we'd ever gone through because it was the first time that, that we realized that as business owners, we, and as, as people who ran a manufacturing company, every single decision that we make here, like can directly impact someone's health, wellness, physical, mental well-being. And it was hard. It was really hard because there were people who were not convinced that we had not done something intentionally or negligently. And those people, those people after John, took the time to sit with everybody and, and to really meet people one-on-one -on -one and really hear their frustration and anger. I mean, they're all still here. They all recovered. I mean, there was definitely a lot of healing from that. And I also think that people at that moment really realized that we were there to take care of people and we were there to, to be held accountable for our actions. It was hard.